I don't think I've ever played so much Atelier in such a short amount of time. In less than two months, I've played and reviewed Atelier Rorona DX, Atelier Totri DX, and today I'm going to finish the Arlen Trilogy, as was requested along with the review of Totri. Here is my review of Atelier Meruru DX for the Nintendo Switch. Atelier Meruru takes place around one year after the events of Atelier Totori in the Kingdom of Arles just outside of Arland. When Totori visits and becomes the resident alchemist, the kingdom's princess becomes amazed and practically begs to become Totori's pupil, wanting to shirk her duties in favor of learning alchemy. As a bit of a wager with her father, the king, she is given three years to use alchemy to develop their nation into a much bigger one to avoid merging with Arland. The story of this game I think is a little bit odd for an Atelier game because of the lack of comedy. When I play an Atelier game, I expect to see constant comedy over and over and over again. Meruru's story is a lot more serious. There are some comedic scenes, especially when Rorona and Astrid show up, but for the most part, it's probably the most serious Atelier game that I've ever played. And it also shares the problem that Totori's story had, retroactive continuity. There are a lot of retcons in this game that contradict events and especially personalities from the previous two Arlen games. Now, if you've never played Rorona or Totori, these aren't really going to bother you. But as a returning player of Verona and Totri, it's very strange to see characters that I know come in and have the first thing in my mind be, who are you and what have you done with the character that I know and love? With gameplay, it's the same song and dance as the other Arlen games. Atelier Meruru DX is a turn-based RPG with a lot of item synthesis and time management elements. And like the other DX games, this is a port of Atelier Meruru Plus from the PlayStation Vita, which included all DLC from the original release and had some new content in the form of new events, playable characters, and bosses. In other words, it's just like Meruru Plus, but with a different name and on a different platform. Progression hasn't really changed that much in the grand scheme of things. You've still got a hub town where you can perform alchemy at your workshop, buy items in various shops, and report on quests at the castle, along with a world map where you can travel around and go to dungeons to fight monsters and gather materials. The main difference here is that unlike Atelier Totri, you only have one hub town and don't have to travel across a map to get to another one. But by far the biggest element of this game is development. You're not doing tasks to get an alchemy license or an adventurer's license or saving your workshop or anything like that. You're using alchemy to develop your country and increase that country's population. Every task you receive, be it from the castle itself or from villagers, is geared towards you making Arles and the areas around it a better place to live. Not only in the story aspect of more people moving in, but also in gameplay. Completing tasks like delivering supplies, fighting off monsters, or clearing out new areas will get you development points that you can use to create new facilities, which will both benefit you in various ways, but also increase that population count. And that leads into the main tasks of the game. Unlike Atelier Totori, you have yearly goals here, so it's a lot easier to manage. A lot of the tasks for the majority of the game are pretty easy to do as well. I didn't have as much free time as I did in Atelier Rorona, but I easily got to all of my goals within at least two to three months of their deadlines, meaning that unlike in Totori, I had a good amount of free time to do whatever I wanted. And before I finish off this section, let's talk about one thing that I really, really love about this game. The variety and extremely large cast of playable characters. You've got new characters like Rufus, Kana, and Hannah. They've got returning characters from the previous games like Verona, Esty, and Mimi. Plus, they've got side characters that can join your party like Pamela, who I rarely ever see as a playable character despite how many games she's been in. It's really a treat to be a fan of the series because of the sheer number of characters that you've got here. Now, when all of this comes together in terms of content and length, you've got plenty to do here. It should take you around 15 to 20 hours to get to the three year point where you can get the normal ending. And assuming you pass that milestone, it should take you at least 30 to 35 hours to actually get to the game's true ending. 
And now let's jump right into presentation. Graphically, the game's more comparable to Atelier Rorona DX than Totri DX, as there are a few jagged edges on the character models, especially Meiru's model as she's wandering around through dungeons. And again, when it comes to frame drops. If you remember, Atelier Verona DX had a few small frame drops when you had it in handheld mode. Meiruru DX has small frame drops when wandering around dungeons in docked mode and handheld mode. Much easier to see in handheld mode, but they do exist every once in a while in docked mode. Nothing game breaking, but they're there. Nothing else to say about presentation, so let's talk battery life. Meiru definitely has the lowest amount of battery life of the Arlen Trilogy, but it's still not bad. Atelier Meiru DX has a battery range of 3 hours and 26 minutes on high settings, up to around 3 hours and 49 minutes on low settings. Now, in conclusion, Atelier Meiru is definitely a step up from Totori, but still suffers from some issues. On the bright side, it's got a huge variety of characters to choose from and a much easier to tackle task system. But on the downside, the story still has some retcons and is much more serious than other Atelier games, and there are occasional frame drops when you're wandering around dungeons. It's definitely fun for a fan of the series, but I'd still put Rorona a little bit above it as far as the Arlen games go. Reviews to Go rates Atelier Meiru DX for the Nintendo Switch an 8 out of 10. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below or head to the website at reviews2go.com.